The ability to combine syllables represents an important developmental milestone. In this video, we present the visualizations of Voxel, a Java-based real-time audio visualization system for use within a clinical speech therapy setting. To teach multisyllabic speech production, we visualize changes in syllables, timing, tone, and emphasis. This video focuses on demonstrating the visualizations of Voxel. Voxel's interaction is based on a common form of behavioral training called applied behavior analysis. In traditional therapy, when the clinician says a target word or phrase, that auditory information is fleeting and does not persist temporally. Therefore, if a child says a word incorrectly, there is no concrete comparison presented to the child. That is where Voxel comes in. Voxel provides an engaging and interactive mechanism to allow children to see a persistent representation of both the model and their attempt. Consider the word basketball. Basketball. There are three syllables. Each are represented here by a circle whose size is based on the emphasis or volume of the utterance. As the pitch of the speaker descends, so do the circles on the y-axis of the screen. In addition, the timing of the word is illustrated along the x-axis. Now consider a different inflection of the word basketball. Basketball. While there are still three syllables, their arrangement is different. As a result of Voxil's persistent visualization of the auditory features, the child and clinician can visually compare the differences between the prompt and the attempt and see how the pitch of the first utterance differed from the second. Voxil's multisyllabic visualization has two basic styles loosely based on the pacing board commonly used in speech therapy, an envelope, as seen on the left, and a circle, as seen on the right. Basketball basketball. With the envelope style, each syllable is a different segment separated by a white line. With the circle style, each syllable is an individual circle. The circle visualization can be modified in two ways. A thin line that smoothly connects the circles together can be turned on and off. In addition, the visualization of the model has the option to be an empty circle, simulating a target to hit and match. To help develop the visualizations highlighted in this video, we used a task-centered user interface design methodology in which the subjects of the target population are involved with software development during the design phase. Based on this feedback, we developed four additional Voxel features. First, split screen. This feature allows the clinician to layer the visualizations on top of one another or split screen with the model along the top and the attempt on the bottom. Basketball. Basketball. Second, dynamic production alignment. The goal of dynamic production alignment is to provide a more direct comparison between the model and the attempt. When dynamic production alignment is on, the computer physically aligns the attempt made by the child with the model made by the clinician. Once the child has made their attempt, their visualization slides to the left or to the right, such that their first syllable is directly on top of the researcher's first syllable. Basketball. Basketball. Third, found images. Prior research has shown that images related to the child's interest are likely to spur engagement. Voxel can replace the abstract circles in the visualization of the child's attempt with images related to the child's interest. In this example, we use a truck to replace the circles. Basketball. Basketball. Fourth, stoplight cue. We designed a visual cue to show when it is the child's turn. Specifically, after the clinician finishes the model, a stoplight appears and changes from red to yellow to green. When the stoplight rests on green, Voxil begins listening to the attempt by the child. Basketball. Basketball. During this video, no footage or audio from actual subjects was used per confidentiality agreement with participants. For more information on Voxel, please refer to our paper, Designing Visualizations to Facilitate Multisyllabic Speech with Children with Autism and Speech Delays, in the Proceeding of DIS 2012.